Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be looking at the VRR settings on the PS5 on Samsung's AU9000. Right, let's get to it. Let's head to the settings tab. Then we need to go down to screen and video. Then we need to scroll down to where it says VRR and make sure that is set to automatic. Also, VRR is also applied to unsupported games. I will test this later on in the video. Let's go ahead and start up Astro's Playroom as this supports VRR. Let's go ahead and open up a level in CPU Plaza. As you can see, we are currently in CPU Plaza at 2160 of VRR at 59 hertz. The game is running very smooth. I had a consistent 59 hertz throughout the game. Let's go ahead and turn VRR off. Now that the VRR is now switched off, we are currently at 2160 at 60 hertz. The game is still running fantastic, very smooth, very clean. It's still running at 60 hertz. I don't see much of dramatic difference, to be honest. Let's go and have a look at a side by side comparison with VRR on and off. Next game I'm going to test is Dirt 5 and this also supports VRR. When testing Dirt 5 with VRR on, I always got a steady 59 hertz. This never went below this. The game runs smooth, it was fluid, there was no sort of lags or anything to do with the gameplay, it just ran smoothly. With VRR off, I caught a constant 60 hertz. Again, no dramatic changes, just constant 60, run smooth, the game was fine. Here's another side-by-side -side comparison to let you guys have a look. If you're liking the video so far please like and subscribe i am going to be testing cyberpunk 2077 on ps5 this isn't currently supported for vrr i want to try out playstation's new feature that has with the vrr settings which is apply to unsupported games as you can see, we are currently playing Cyberpunk on the AU9000 at 2160, VRR at 59Hz. Let's go ahead and look at some gameplay. Here is another side-by-side -side comparison with VRR on non-supported games.
can see this working really well, especially when driving vehicles and in combat scenes. When running around, you will see the dramatic difference from non-VRR to VRR. This is a really good feature to have on the PlayStation that it can support non-supported games. I hope you enjoyed the video and this gave you some insight of the VRR settings on PS5 on the AU9000.